Hey, thanks for stopping by to check out the My Apple Gadgets channel. I am your iGadget lady and I do the research so you won't have to. Today, we're going to talk about jailbreaking. Now, I've been jailbreaking my iPads and iPhones since the 3G models. And I've always been asked, why do you jailbreak? What's the difference? Today, I'm going to show you step by step how to jailbreak on your Mac using the PP jailbreak on iOS 8.4. You can also find out why I jailbreak by going to my Apple gadgets. I'm going to leave that link down below and I'll show you and, and tell you exactly why I jailbreak my iPhones and hopefully it'll be something useful for you. So whether you're new or you've jailbroken before, let's go ahead and jump right in and show you step by step how to get started. Now, the first thing you want to do is back up your iPhone. Now, if you don't know how to back up your iPhone, I'm going to uh, show you in a quick video. It'll show you basically how to back up. And then from that point, you want to restore your iPhone uh, to factory settings and set it up as a new iPhone. I'll leave a link below to the video that shows you how to do that. So once you've restored your iPhone and set it up as new, what you're going to do, let's grab my iPhone here. One of the things I like to do just to make sure is go to general, auto lock, and I'll put that on never. Now we've got that done. I'll go ahead and sit that back down. So again, it's essential. Please back up your iPhone before you begin anything. Back it up. Then after you've backed up, restore your iPhone uh, to factory settings and set it up as a new iPhone. Next, what we're going to do just on our iPhone right now, we're going to put it in airplane mode. That turns off the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi. You're also going to want to make sure that you don't have your um, Find My iPhone on or your fingerprints enabled. Or if it's set up on an Apple uh, Watch, make sure that it's disconnected. If you follow my steps and set it up as a new iPhone and don't set anything up, you'll be set to go. So... You've got all that done. What you're going to do is click that link down below and download this PP jailbreak tool. The tool itself, it won't, uh, you won't be able to open it. So you're going to have to go to finder. You're going to find this PP jailbreak tool. What you're going to do is hit function, right? Or excuse me, hit function and then right click and then hit open. That'll let you open it because otherwise it's gonna say it doesn't recognize this particular application. So once you've done that, you're all set. So let's go ahead and open the jailbreak tool. I've put it also in applications. Let me go ahead and, and that, that just again shows you that it's not recognized. So follow the steps that I just told you. So I'm gonna go to applications and I'm gonna click the jailbreak tool and it's going to open here. And again, I'm taking you through this step by step so you can follow this. Now, once you've got that done, make sure that iTunes is turned off. So if it's open, push quit. If you have Xcode enabled, push quit. Now, make sure this install PP helper is not checked. If it happens to be checked, uncheck it. Next, what we're gonna do, let's just double check. We have turned off our Bluetooth. We've put it in airplane mode, so that's turned off Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. We've also turned off our passcode and also find my iPhone. So we should be good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and click jailbreak. And again, this is going to say read me first before you do anything. Try to zoom in there a little bit. 
It's going to say turn off Find My iPhone. And to do that, go to Settings, iCloud, scroll all the way down, click Find My iPhone and turn it off. Turn off your passcode. You shouldn't have to do any of this because if you've also uh, followed my directions and just restored it to factory settings and set it up as a new iPhone, you don't need to worry. And again, please, before you do anything, back up. So I'm going to hit continue here. And again, this is step-by-step -step live. I just want to show you exactly how this works. You can see a restore is in progress on my iPhone right now. It's waiting for the device to reboot. You don't have to do anything right now. Just sit back and be patient. And again, I'm showing you how to jailbreak iOS 8.4 using the PP jailbreak tool on the Mac. It's pretty easy. I'm not going to pause anything. I just want to show you how simple this is. Do not click anything. I, I, I uh, did some research earlier and I was just uh, pulling up PP jailbreak. And there was one uh, site, it was charging like $19.95 to just get the download link. Don't do that. Don't do that. It's free. Never pay, pay for a jailbreak. So now I'm going to open. It says update completed. I'll continue. Set up iTouch later. Continue. Passcode. Don't add passcode. Continue. And I'll get started. Now you can see it's preparing the environment. We're at step six of eight now. And it doesn't take that long, but I just wanted to show you guys exactly what happens. Battery is low. I hope you guys didn't see that. I've got 20% battery. Make sure you have a little bit of battery life left before you start this. Some people say you should be at 100%, but I don't think you really need to be at 100%. I think you just need to have some battery life. Now you can see it says jailbreak succeeded. So what it's going to do now, it's going to do something on my iPhone and it'll probably restart this. So you can see the Apple logo coming up. I'm going to show you that. Don't touch anything. Just let it do its thing. You can see on the screen here, it says jailbroken. Let me scroll back a little bit. I zoomed out a little too much, but it says jailbroken. So we have officially been pimped. <laughs> Slide to unlock, scroll over. Now you see Cydia. You have officially been pimped. You have unlocked so much on your iPhone you don't even know yet. Stay tuned because I'm going to show you in my next video next week what you need to do next in order to make sure you get the most out of your jailbroken iPhone. Thanks for watching. Please, if this helped you out, subscribe. I tried to do the work so you don't have to. Some people have gotten errors. I've gotten errors before too, but I did it this way and it works. All you have to do now is go back to iTunes. You want to close this out. Go back to iTunes. And I know it works because I've done it earlier. So I'm going to just show you how to get back to iTunes and do this. Go back to iTunes. Click your phone there up at the top. Now you're going to restore backup. I've restored, I've, I backed mine up earlier this evening, so I've got it just how I wanted it. I'm going to restore from backup, 
and that Cydia is still going to be there, you're still going to be jailbroken. Thank you for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. This is an up and coming channel. I've got so much more for you. Thanks for watching.